Hello there, this is Jay here from Jay's Vintage Junk and today I thought we'd have a look at this. This is the CPC 464 that I got um, from the eBay um, eBay auction the other day um, with the 6128 and all the other uh, junk. This is the first thing I'm going to really have a look at. I'm going to have a look at um, fully refurbing this and getting this into a uh, nice playable usable state. Um, at the moment, this is exactly as I've got it, still with a uh, Trivial Pursuits um, tape in it. At least that might do for testing, at least initial testing. Um, what I can report about it so far is I've connected it up to uh, my test monitor and it's completely dead. I'll just show you that now. I've uh, got 5 volts power. I'm not using the CPC monitor with it because I can't uh, fit one on my test bench here. So we've got it uh, plugged up. Like that. And uh, I've got it connected to that monitor there. And as we can see, I'll, uh, it's not working. It's not doing... Um, where's the on switch on this thing? There it is. It's not doing anything at all, I'll switch it on and uh, it's dead. There's no lights on it at all, the um, LED here isn't lighting. Um, what I will say is the power jack on the back here, I'll just disconnect it from the uh, monitor because we'll be needing that for the moment. But the, uh, oops, we can't see that on camera. Let's just bring it down. The power jack there is very very loose and wobbly so I think that's going to be the first thing that we'll look at is uh, we will open this up because I haven't done yet we'll have a quick look inside it and we'll find out which version it is it's one of the later ones I can say that straight away because uh, the earlier ones have um, a deeper key the later ones have a much shallower um, key but there's even there's two versions of the of the uh, later one, um, I believe the um, it's all down to the motherboards really. The original 464 motherboard takes up pretty much most of the case like this. Um, it literally stops just short of the cassette deck. Then they made a um, cost reduced version, um, which is about the size of a Spectrum Plus 2 motherboard. It's kind of like this size. And then and I've only ever seen one before. Uh, they did a um, even more cost reduced version quite late in the end of the production run of these and the board's tiny can't actually remember how small it is it's it's like small small it's about that big i think but um we'll see anyway when we uh, when we get inside this thing let's just uh, disconnect the power from it we will flip it over I am going to do all this, I'm not going to edit this or cut this about or anything, we'll, I'll do as much as I can in this video. Uh, hopefully what I'd like to see if I can do is if I can actually we can get something on screen in this video and I will uh, probably leave it at that and then I'll come back and I'll do some more on it, perhaps uh, how to strip it down completely. Uh, cleaning the keyboard, cleaning the plastics, getting all the paint off it, getting the case back to pristine. Uh, then servicing the uh, tape deck, the data set, and then I might look at any issues that need to be done with the motherboard. Um, depending on which board it has, depends on how many electrolytic caps it's got in it. Uh, the earliest one I think has got loads in it, um, the later ones not quite so many. But obviously all at this um, age, they'll at least need testing, if not uh, replacing. Um, I am of a mind to replace them on course because I did sell one. I refurbed one of these a few years ago and I tested the caps in it. And they were all within tolerance, so I left them. And it was a really nice one. And I sold it uh, to a guy in Spain. And he got it and... Um, it didn't work and this is a computer which I had had on at least 48 hours test on it 
and it didn't work when it got him. He was quite knowledgeable of, of them and he was still happy with it because it was in such pristine condition. Um, he had another one that had a fault uh, which was in a mess but still worked so he just swapped the motherboards over. But um, he said uh, when he tested it he was getting the 5 volt line was low, it was being pulled down to about 4.5 volts, which you'd pretty much think bad caps uh, doing something like that. Um, so I don't know what happened there. Since then, I um, as a matter of course, uh, I think someone may have been in here before because that's not connected. I don't know. Uh, could that be why the light wasn't coming on? The switch wasn't working? Hmm. Right, well, uh, before we go any further, let's try and connect that on there. I wonder if it's just had a bash. If that is, then uh, this is the quickest uh, repair video going. Let's, uh, let's have a see. Because that connector in there actually takes all the power from here through the LED, through the switch on the side. So uh, if that's not connecting, then um, it'll appear to do absolutely nothing. Um, so we've got video connected up. Let's get some power to it. And that is on, isn't it? Yeah, that's on. And nothing, no. No, we weren't that lucky. way again. So let's uh, carry on. Right, let's gently disconnect the... Uh... the keyboard. There we go. There's a grounding pin up here. That's off. That connector again and we can reveal it's the little one. It's the uh, it's the tiny tiny board. As you can see, it's um, very reduced. In fact, it's so reduced it doesn't even it uses just uh, two RAM chips. They'll be 64k by four bit them, I think. So it uses two of them. I think the um, C64C uses something uh, a similar arrangement. But it looks like this board was designed to take either. That's quite interesting. Um, right, what we will do, because my first thing I want to investigate is, oh, I can see that already, that doesn't look good. I think what we've got is we've got a dry joint um, on the power connector there. So that's the first port of call, that's the first thing we're going to have a look at. As you can see as well, this thing is, uh, this is filthy. It's obviously had liquid in it as well, because there's um, signs over here where liquid's been spilt. Uh, it is very, very, very... Ugh, that stinks. I hate, hate um, these in air freshness people have that squirt stuff out into the air. It stinks of it. It's horrible. But anyway, I digress. Let's get this uh, little motherboard out and we can have a look and see if the power connectors are... Uh, are broken underneath. And put these to one side so I don't lose them. Oh, and I've missed one. Right. And there we go. I mean, that is kind of like. ZX81 size proportions. It's like someone's sawn half a Spectrum 48K motherboard in half. It's tiny. I actually hadn't remembered how small they were. That is tiny. And there's sod all on it. Now this I'm guessing is uh, like the ULA. Um, well the Amstrad version of the ULA. Um, that looks like what's used in the Sinclair Spectrum Plus 3. It's that kind of like tiny little surface mount package. Um, I think a lot of the later micros kind of went over to that type of uh, thing for the ULA. Now let's have a look. And here we are. Yeah. We've got uh, we've got a 
bad solder joints all around there. It's cracked there. It's all cracked up around there. So, first port of call with this is going to just be a quickly reflow then with the old uh, soldering iron. Now, I'm sure I got some solder out before. Ah, there we go. Just get a little bit of solder. Let's get the old soldering iron out. Clean the tip off. And all we want to do, just need to reflow these two joints. Go in there just to heat it up and uh, add a little bit of solder. There we go, that's that first joint redone, and let's go on with this one. And that's that one redone. And go on while we're here, seeing the other one's probably been stressed slightly. Let's, uh, let's just heat that up while we're here. Let's add a little bit of solder. There we are. Probably not necessary that, but it's uh, while we're there. Now, there are some tests that I could do on this at the moment. Uh, I could put the power up to it, and I could see whether I'm getting uh, 5 volts out here. But, to be honest, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to bang it back in the... Uh, bang it back in the base. Figure out where it lines up anyway. There we are. Still stick a couple of screws in just to hold it in place. Is that one of them? I think that's that one from there. Uh, that'll do. Just to hold it down. So that's re-soldered. We've got the uh, got the tape deck and the keyboard back. No, I won't bother hooking up the uh, keyboard connector. I just want to hook this up so I can see if the switch and um, everything works. So we'll just balance that for now. <sighs> no, that yeah, we can balance it like that, and we can still get to the connector. Let's get that back in there. That's still in the off position, and to make sure that's in the off position while we power it up. Plug the power in. And what have we got? We've got nothing. No power LED illuminating, and we're getting nothing on screen. We're not getting any activity on the tape deck. Oops. No, we're still, we're still dead. Yeah, no, we're still dead. So next thing to test, we will. Uh, Disconnect this again. Put that down for the moment. And another major problem with these that I've found in the past, especially when they've been stuck in attics for years, is the, uh, the switch there it, uh, corrodes internally and they uh, stop working. So what we will do, we'll just have a quick check of that switch and see that that switch is actually working. Now what I will use, I have got a, uh, a test meter there with an ohms range on it, but I always find for testing switches, you can't be a good old continuity tester. That's what I've got here, it's an all in one component analyzer and continuity tester that I knocked up, there's a video about it somewhere. But anyway, that's what we want, let's just test this switch. Okay, nothing. Let's switch it. And nothing. Right. There we are. I was pretty... Uh, to be honest, I thought if that didn't fix it with the power jack, this is where our next problem would be. So. 
what I think I will do, just so we can see whether the computer actually works, is I'm just going to bypass the. Uh, I'm just going to bypass the switch um, for now. I've got a a random component which I've just found on my uh, workbench. So I will clean the uh, clean the leg up on that like that. Tin it up. Clean the hood off my um, iron. This is not going to be a permanent repair. This is literally just bridging the switch to see whether uh, the rest of the system is going to fire up. That's something we'll come back to uh, in the future. So that is. I've got that. No, not quite. Go on. Melt. There we are. That's done it. So that's that switch there bypassed. And what I will do, my power supply that I'm using for this has a switch on it. So I've uh, switched the power supply um, off. In fact, I think we'll connect at this point, I think we'll connect um, it all back up. Because if it does fire up, at least then we can test the keyboard operation. Hate these type connectors. And I'm not sure whether new membranes are available for these um, Amstrads. I've never had to change one, but you always worry about tearing them. Right, so I'll bring that down. Connect that up. And say I've not had any attempt to clean this thing yet, so. Plug everything in. Oops, that way. Plug the power in. And let's switch on and see if anything happens. Oh, look at that. Now, I don't know if my uh, monitor's bit. My monitor can be a little bit fickle when it comes to um, certain computers, but let's try to switch it off and on again, see if that will clear it. Come on. There we are. How about that? That's not bad, is it? Amstrad 64K microcomputer. Let's see if the keyboard does anything, shall we? So, Q U E R T Y U I O P. Enter. Syntax error. Turn. Print. Um, print. It has to be done, do not it? Whenever you get a computer running again. There we go. That doesn't seem so bad, does it? Right, let's break that. I wonder whether the tape works or not. Well, that's fast forward. 
stop. Let's bring you back out onto the tape deck. There we go. So we've got, yep, we've got rewind, fast forward. Is very, very sluggish, but it is fast forwarding. Let's press rewind. Let's get that to the uh, start of the tape and we'll see. In fact, I've got a tape that I know works here. I've got a copy of Fruit Machine, I'm pretty certain that works. Ah, that's rewound anyway, so if I remember correct, is it Shift, Control and Enter into it? Yes. Run. Press play on tape. Let's press the play on the tape. Then press any key. Alright. Well, it doesn't look like we've got any play action there. No. So we have got a working computer, but so far we've got a defective uh, tape player by the look of it. But I was going to address the tape player in a completely different issue of uh, this is little videos anyway. I want to do that as a separate uh, video because I'm going to do completely stripping down and cleaning and relubricating one of them because to get the best out of one of these computers that's really what you have to do um, but apart from that it seems to be working quite nicely um, the keyboard seems fine on it I've not tried every key yet but um, from the keys that I've tried um, they all seem to work fine um, obviously we're going to replace that switch or what I might do actually which I've done in the past is um, strip that switch down clean it all um, relubricate it um, and reassemble it so I'll probably do a small video on that and as I've said before I'll do a video on stripping this whole thing down cleaning the keyboard up cleaning the case up getting all this gunk and um, paint and crap off it and making this thing look like it was when it um, when it was new um, all those years ago so uh, I'm going to leave it at that for now, uh, I'm quite pleased with that, it was obviously um, not a lot of work but it just shows you how, how sometimes how simple these computers are just to um, get at least some sign of life out of them again. I know we've got the tape deck to still fix on it but uh, as you can see the computer's now uh, working again so uh, I think I'll leave it at that so um, thanks for watching and uh, goodbye.